हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू गेट वाला सो फ्रेंड्स गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव मैकेनिकल पेपर हैज बीन कंक्लूडेड एंड वॉट वी हैव गॉट फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स द मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड यू विद द वीडियो सोल्यूशंस एंड वी आर वर्किंग ऑन द पी डी एफ सोल्यूशंस फॉर ऑल द सिक्सटी फाइव क्वेश्चन एंड मीन वाइल वी हैव कंपाइल्ड द एंटायर डेटा बेस्ड ऑन दोज मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन वॉट वॉज द डिफिकल्टी लेवल and what was the weightage of each and every subject so in this panel discussion we are going to talk about that one by one we have the entire mechanical team with us so we'll start with vinod sir sir how was the uh, questions from your subject and what was the weightage what was the difficulty level so uh, if we talk about uh, the applications of thermodynamics then uh, there were total four questions from atd uh, weighing uh, uh, for uh, six marks uh if we see the level of uh, questions uh, which we have seen in this years was uh, slightly easier side it was there we can say uh, moderate to easy as compared to last year uh, the paper for atd was uh, slightly easy because uh, the questions were straight forward uh, formula based uh if you see uh, the time taken for uh, these four questions to solve would have been very less like uh, somebody who has uh, studied would be able to do it in maybe around 2 to 3 minutes so uh, that is an added advantage uh, this year uh, that uh, uh, most of the questions were slightly easier so you could have finished uh, the whole uh, paper within the 3 hours time and uh, that is also the feedback that we have received uh, from the students so uh, if we say sir uh, atd then the questions were easy uh, and uh, most of the student must have uh, secured 6 marks yeah related to production and industrial there were 27 marks question this year and uh, around 10 to 12 marks questions were pretty easy i mean if you know the answers uh, within 30 seconds or 20 second you can make it and as far as industrial say uh, six marks questions they are little lengthy so each question will take around 4 uh, minutes or something like that but remaining 10 marks question of uh, production especially some uh, question some application based question came from additive manufacturing cad so they were you know uh, little little complicated to understand actually so what do you feel aditya ji same so the production part is you can say uh, from ordinary to tougher side and industrial engineering is uh, seems like easy but it is little bit lengthy it ha uh, the question has little bit lengthy calculation so it might be possible that you people did a uh, silly mistake while uh, while the calculation so but i think overall industrial engineering is uh, easy so uh, if we talk about uh, basic thermodynamics total four question were asked and out of which uh, all questions were easy only like even in basic thermodynamics from last number of years paper is easy only there is no such question which you can uh, you cannot solve or which will take some time so it's very very easy and uh, if you talk about fluid mechanics then in uh, fluid mechanics total 8 marks were asked and uh, last year uh, from fluid mechanics only 6 uh, marks were there and uh, out of which few questions were very very you know difficult or you can say rank deciding type of problem but uh, this time all the questions are very very easy so in basic thermodynamics and fluid mechanics the paper was easy and it is going to take very less time the people who have understand the subject very well they can easily solve within few minutes right so what about sir uh, heat transfer uh if we talk about the heat transfer actually in this year heat transfer has less weightage we have four marks question uh one uh, one question is from convection and another question is from radiation convection question is easy uh, whereas the radiation question is a uh, little bit i can say uh, moderate side that is que that question and from the fluid machinery if i'm talking about the fluid machinery so in fluid ma machinery we have one question that is based on the uh, pelton turbine and that question is also easy side sir <coughs> if i talk about the overall design part then uh, the weightage was very similar to last year uh, from engineering mechanics last year there were three questions this year there were two questions i think and uh, the questions were pretty easy there was one question from truss uh, which uh, was very easy you need to find out the zero force member and we have solved so many problems like that and there was one question uh, where you needed to find the velocity 
uh, it was related to rolling without slipping of a wheel so that was also very easy if i talk about strength of materials uh, last year there were uh, four questions seven marks total and uh, this year there were uh, i think uh, three, sorry last year there were three questions this year there were four questions and from strength of materials also they were pretty easy questions even the questions which are of two marks they had minimum calculations like two to three steps maximum so as vinod sir said you might have uh, uh, took very less time in solving all these problems usually people tend to take a lot of time in solving design problems because they take a lot of calculations but this year the questions were uh, with minimal calculations so they were time saving and uh, they were all based on very basic concepts so i think from the design part uh, mostly students would have got uh, i think 80 to 90 percent uh, problems uh, correct uh, let's talk about machine design sir if we'll talk about machine de design there are total four questions uh, two question of two mark and uh, two question of one mark uh, overall weightage was six marks uh, one question was from design against static load part uh, that question was easy it was two mark question from soderberg criteria and uh, one question was from welded joint topic that question was also easy that was two mark question and 80 questions uh, one question was from uh, design against static load chapter uh, in which examiner was asking shear yield stress in terms of tensile yield strength that question was one mark and it was also easy and one question was theoretical question was from bearing chapter uh, overall the pay machine design questions were very easy uh, if we'll talk about last year last year also machine design weightage was six marks and that were also easy so we can say uh, machine design overall level and weightage both were uh, both are similar as compared to last year sir so uh, like if you first talk about fluid mechanics then there are eight marks total this year so three two marks questions and two one mark questions obviously and the places from where the questions has come they are most anticipated places like one is the applications of Bernoulli's equation like the pitot tube then the second one is again uh, a very common thing from the rotationality rotationality vector so whatever the questions has come they are from the extra expected places okay so it's not like very tough paper to be frank i would put these questions on slightly moderate to the easier side okay because they are very anticipated questions and uh, i would like to talk about maths as well so maths there were total nine questions so five uh, sorry four two mark questions and five one mark questions so five plus eight 13 yeah so 13 marks has been come in maths and again the topics in which the questions were asked were most anticipated again like if you see the euler kochi equation which has been in gate for the last three years continuously okay compared to last year this time maths was a little easier side because last time you can see some nice questions from vector calculus and all but this time the questions were uh, easy and more importantly like many times many of us has said Directly there came 13 marks, but in aptitude also there were many ap mathematical questions like the probability based questions, then the ceiling function, flow function, such questions were there. So maths has played a good weightage this time in gate examination. Ratan sir, aptitude. Regarding aptitude, as it is fixed that uh, 15 marks uh, they will be asking from aptitude, uh, including quant, uh, verbal, uh, spatial and uh, reasoning. So uh, no doubt this time also 10 question 15 marks was given and uh, earlier it was seen that they asked maximum question from quantitative part where the calculation is needed. But uh, this time what we can see is uh, they have distributed evenly like in quantitative they asked four questions then there in English they asked two questions as usual and earlier spatial aptitude they used to ask one question but this time they asked two questions from spatial aptitude and uh, reasoning one question also it was given so uh, regarding the level of uh, question if we talk about no doubt while reading the question it it may look lengthy but if you understand the question within uh, uh, one or two minutes you can answer each question very easily because it is just a one step solution you can say for calculation and reasoning anyhow that is if you are understanding the question you can easily answer it so the question paper you can say regarding general aptitude it was easier only so, so <coughs> let's have a discussion about the theory of machine. Theory of machine may this this year they have asked uh, three questions and uh, vibration may there were two questions. So total five questions were there from Tom and vibration, and the weightage was about uh, eight marks. And if you talk about the distribution of question, so almost from all the important topics only they have asked the questions. For example. Uh, question was on 
ऑफसेट स्लाइडर क्रैंक मैकेनिज्म टू मार्क का क्वेश्चन बैलेंसिंग में देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन थियोरिटिकल फॉर वन मार्क गियर मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ टीथ पे दे हैव आस्ड क्वेश्चन सो दीज आर ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स सिमिलरली वाइब्रेशन से नेचुरल वाइब्रेशन का फ्रिक्वेंसी दे हैव आस्ड वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन एंड वन क्वेश्चन वॉज देयर वे आर अ लिटल यू नो अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टेन सेकेंड विल बी मोर रिक्वायर्ड बट आई विल नॉट से दैट दिस वॉज अ टफ क्वेश्चन सो ओवरऑल थ्योरी ऑफ मशीन एंड वाइब्रेशन वॉज ईजी पीपल कुड हैव सेव्ड Uh, enough time so that they can spend these you know uh, this time on the whatever uh, tough questions were there in the production so they could have used this uh, time in the tough part also uh, definitely sir uh, sir lots of students are uh, really worried about the cut off sir so what is your view up to sir uh, i think even if the paper is very easy compared to the last year the cut off is not going to fluctuate much it's not drastically going to change year on year we have seen that uh, the cut off marks are uh, around 28 29 this year also last year the cut off marks were 28 point something and this year we are expecting it might touch 30 but it is not going to cross 30 it is not going to be uh, extravagantly high 35 40 no it's not going to work like that uh, and uh, uh those students who are preparing for xc uh, i would like to tell you that uh, tomorrow we are going to launch the entire schedule for whatever sessions we have planned for xc and from 4th of february we are going to start these sessions uh so if you are preparing for xc just uh, stay focused prepare for these two weeks and uh, do well in xc whether your me paper has gone well or whether you have made mistakes it doesn't matter you have to prepare well for xc and even if you have not prepared uh, if even if you are not writing gate xc you still have a lot of opportunities coming up there are a lot of uh, psus uh, who are going to take their uh, different uh, center based tests the syllabus is almost same the pattern of questions is almost same so you just need to prepare you just need to keep continuing your preparation and uh, we are going to soon release the entire solution pdf of 65 questions and we are going to send it in the telegram channel that we have pinned in the comments so you just Uh, join the telegram channel and uh, we will see you in the next session till then bye bye take care thank you